Hello, pipe smokers. David Russell Mosley, the enchanted pipe smoker here. Coming to you on this beautiful New England day. The housekeeping. <clears throat> Smoking some Frog Morton's Cellar. In the shadows. Alright, so you can't really see it. Well, that's alright. It's very bright out here today, if you can't tell. Given how lit up my nose is half the time. By smoking some Frogmorton cellar in my Savinelli. <clears throat> so, given my recent channel name change, uh, I thought the first video I ought to do under this name is uh, what I've been meaning to do for a while. I really, really meant to do this uh, around the 6th, um, and you'll see why in a minute. And that is. When it comes to our kids, um, which ought we to go for? Santa Claus, Father Christmas, or St. Nicholas? See, it's a... I think there is a difference um, in them. I mean, today particularly. So, let's just go here. Santa Claus. Uh, good things and bad things. Santa Claus really... Uh, since I've divided this between Santa Claus, Father Christmas, and St. Nicholas, there's really technically no difference between Santa Claus and St. Nicholas. All Santa Claus means is St. Klaus, um, which Klaus is just a nickname for Nicholas, or Niklaus, as it would be in some of the German and Dutch and Scandinavian languages. Hence, Sinterklaas in, a uh, in Dutch, I think. <clears throat> Hang on. Don't mind me. Oh. Alright, I'll leave that in. What the hell? Right. Hang on. Pipe. Now, the thing about Santa Claus is how he's been utilized today. We've gotten ourselves to a point where Santa Claus is this person's first and last name. It's kind of how we treat Jesus Christ. His first name is Jesus, his last name is Christ. Well, that's not true. Christ is a title. It's the same thing with Santa Claus. Santa isn't his first name. Um, or, you know, in other words, we could call any saint Santa if we wanted to. So it's Santa Claus that has captured um, kind of the public imagination. I think there's a lot of good to that. I mean, I love the films, the Santa Claus, um, the first one, and the second one's okay. Third one, it's weird. But anyway, uh, Santa Claus is coming to town. You know, all these these films and, and shows and so on have, have captured our imagination, but in ways that are often really unhelpful, I think. So I tend not to prefer Santa Claus. Not anymore. <clears throat> Saint Nicholas. Um, for me, I don't like to... I mean, my kids are only seven months old. So this particular year, I could call him Babadook. And we'd be alright. Uh, they wouldn't know the difference. Uh, so, I mean, a lot of this is, is but, but St. Nicholas is an actual person. There is a person that we can point to and say, that is St. Nicholas. Uh, you know, he was a bishop of Myra in the 4th century. He participated in the Council of Nicaea, uh, which confirmed that uh, the Son, that is Jesus Christ, is divine in the same way the Father is and shares the Father's divinity, they, they, they share that together. One is not prior to the other. They are eternally consubstantial, is, is the language that we use. Um, and so because St. Nicholas is a real person who really died, 
uh, it's hard for me to use him as the one who brings gifts. Now, there are a lot of particularly European traditions We're on St. Nicholas's Feast Day, which is uh, December 6th. Don't mind me using this. All of my lighters are out of fluid. And I haven't had a chance to refill them, and I don't have any mass matches. So, for you purists out there, turn your eyes now. <clears throat> so there are some traditions where St. Nicholas shows up on his feast day, on December 6th, the day he died. And then he often brings um, presents uh, in a lot of churches. They have a little St. Nicholas, uh, a little bishop, who goes around handing out chocolate coins. Um, in Germany, I believe, they leave out their shoes, and St. Nicholas comes and fills their shoes with candy. Uh, in Britain, stockings are hung up by the bed, and it was... He got translated to the 24th, but I think that there is a tradition on the 6th as well of him leaving fruit and candies and stuff in, in their stockings. And I like that, but I like that it's on the 6th of December, the day that we actually celebrate St. Nicholas in the church. Oh, that brings me to Father Christmas, um, Père Noël, as he's called in, in French. Um, in fact, a lot of other languages tend to call him some form of Father Christmas. Uh, and it's, it's the name I prefer. It distances him from the real person so that we can have a real saint who's lived, who's died, who intercedes for us in heaven uh, and maybe shows up on his feast day to give out chocolate and fruit. But then we have this other man, this other being who comes on the day Christ was born and delivers presence, and delivers joy above all things. Um, he is the father of Christmas, and one of the keys to Christmas, as uh, so in, the, in, in Advent, this most recent Sunday, uh, is the third Sunday of Advent, where we celebrate joy. Um, it is the joy candle. And that's what Father Christmas represents, is that joy, that wonder, that uh, is associated with the coming of God into the world. Uh, and so that's why, for me, I prefer Father Christmas over Santa Claus or St. Nicholas. Now, that's just me. What do you guys think? Um, obviously, I did this from a very Christian standpoint because Christmas is traditionally from a very Christian standpoint. Um, what do you prefer? I mean, do you stick with Santa Claus? Do you not do any kind of thing like that for your kids? I know a lot of Christians do that. I know some do it for fear that their children won't believe in God when they find out Santa isn't real. I know that some do it because of economic inequality and all that kind of stuff so that poor kids don't get the same stuff from Santa. Um, I mean, there's this horribly... Uh, not horribly, but there's this tremendously sad song, uh, The Little Boy Who Santa Claus Forgot, which, I mean, the line is, um, I feel so sorry for that laddie, he didn't have a daddy, the little boy that Santa Claus forgot. So I can understand those things, uh, and I have my own reasons for, for wanting to continue that tradition anyway. But I'm curious, what do you think? Um, does it matter what we call him? Does it matter the connection to the Christian tradition there? Um, you know, what do you prefer? Do you prefer Santa Claus? Do you prefer Father Christmas? Do you prefer St. Nick? Kris Kringle? Uh, let me know in the comments or in your own video, uh, and I'll respond. Well, farewell, my friends. And when you sit in peace with your pipe, think of me. Cheers.